Hey, welcome back to Heartland Afternoon. A brand new event is coming to Southern Illinois with a goal of helping more children and families be able to afford to have spooky fun this Halloween. The Southern Illinois Resource and Advocacy Center, or CIRAC, is putting on a share and scare costume giveaway that's happening from 5 to 8 p.m. on Saturday, October 19th at the Spirit of Shawneetown Halloween Carnival. Ooh. You can help by donating gently used costumes being collected now through October 16th. I have Megan Reagan here to tell us more, and I just want to preface this. Yep. Free. <laughs> Free. Free. <laughs> Free. How cool is that? It, it is. You know, honestly, it's it, our whole goal with CIREC has always been to just add to the community, increase people's opportunities, and we know that this time of year is very difficult and very expensive for a and, lot of people. And tell us about the need in your area as the oh. holidays approach. Oh man, so um, the need is the need is pretty significant. You know, a, a huge portion of our, our children and our families live in poverty. Um, it's 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 a struggle. It's a struggle all year, but especially during the holidays. And anybody who may not know you, tell us about the work that you guys do. Okay, so we are a resource center. Um, we're located in Shawneetown, obviously. Um, and what we do basically is we try to bridge the gap between the programs that are available in the community and what the people need. So um, sometimes it is as simple as going to the grocery store and buying someone a loaf of bread and a gallon of milk. Mm. Um, and they're so, th they're so grateful. Sometimes it's as complicated as trying to get someone into rehab. Um, we help with a lot of different things. I'm a social worker and my staff are all peers, so um, everybody has kind of that lived experience element. It's a very special thing that you do. Taking you. things back to this event now, what kind of things can people donate? Oh man, so we would love to have any kind of costumes. Um, we're taking all the way from infants through adult sizes because we know that we do have some big kids out there, um, especially in those teenage years. Um, so any kind of costumes, whether they're new or gently used, we would love to have those. Um, also costume accessories, you know, things like uh, costume makeup, wigs, different things like that. All of that would be wonderful as well. So the community has really come together a lot for us as we've been preparing for this. Um, but I am a little bit concerned that we're going to be tight on our costumes. Oh. So, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed for more donations on that. And maybe somebody can't physically come there. Can they mail? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Our web, our, uh, our mailing address is on our website, um, and so you can you can send anything. We also are always more than happy to to meet someone yeah. to pick up. Let's talk about. I've heard about a carnival booth. Yes. 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 So there is an amazing group in Shawneetown called the Spirit of Shawneetown. Um, it is a group of people from all different ages, and they basically are just trying to revive this community. Wow. Um, very family focused. They do things all year long, and this year they are doing a Halloween carnival. It is completely free. Every part of it is. Um, and they are going to have several different vendors, several different activities. And we are going to be set up there with our costumes. So not only can you come and get a free costume, but you can also come and partake in all of this good carnival fun. Absolutely. Do you have a favorite part? Of, of Halloween or the carnival? Just being able to help people. <laughs> oh, oh man. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I would say probably my, my favorite part is just um, being able to, to help bring some sunshine into people's lives. Absolutely. You know? no, no matter what that looks like. And let's say maybe somebody's wanting to go for the very first time. Mm -hmm. What kind of mindset should they bring with them? Um, so if they're coming to CIRAC for our services, um, the first thing I would say is you cannot tell us anything that we have never heard or that someone has not been through before. Um, we are very focused on people with lived experience being the ones that get to relate to our clients. So um, it is a very non-judgmental atmosphere. Um, we accept people as they are where they are, no mm -hmm. matter what. Um, and so it, it's, it's, we, we have the whole place set up like a big, almost like a, a home, a yeah. living room. Well, it's a very special cause that you're helping and we appreciate everything you do. And thank you for taking the drive over here. <laughs> no problem. Again, if you would like more information, it will be on October 19th and we will have more information on our website. Now